Hello, Ghostbusters fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Ghostbusters Plasma series, The Terror Dog, made by Hasbro. Also, at the end of this review, I'll also be reviewing the Loyal Subjects Ghostbusters Ray Stands figure. So, stay tuned for a review of this guy after this review. So anyway, take a look at the figure. Well, for well, there's no packaging for this guy because well, well, it's obviously a build a figure. So yeah, no packaging for this dog. I'm pretty sure this is Finn's Clothor, Clothor version of the Terror Dog. I know there's two versions: the Keymaster and the Gatekeeper, which is the Gatekeeper. You know, the Keymaster is Finn's Clothor, and the Keymaster is no, I'm sorry. No, the key master is Finn's Clothor. I, I forgot who is the key master and who's the gatekeeper. I need to rewatch the Ghostbusters film. So anyway, take a look at the head sculpt. I gotta admit, it looks really downright terrifying. The sculpt on the the head sculpt is downright terrifying. Look at this guy. Man. Very creepy looking. And you can see some bumps all over the um and some spikes there and some pointy. Well, not really pointy, but well, it's made of soft plastic material. Take a look at the body. You can see some of the silver on the top. There's some metallic paint to it. And you get like the little tail on there. And also you can see some nails, clipped nails on on the feet and more and you get like some sort of a spike on the nails. Oh well, on the bottom feet. There. Well, there's some sculpting details, like the sculpting muscles on, on the neck and the head there. And on the bottom, there's nothing much. No legalese, no peckles, which no legal, legal stuff, thank God. Overall, for the sculpt on the figure, yeah, I'd say it's not bad. Not too bad. Articulation, the head does go fully rotate and does have the ball joint. And there's the jaw movement. Which is pretty neat. Arms do go fully rotate and do go in and out. Bend at the elbows. I think these are the elbows. Rotate. The. Like the um, paw area does bend forward and rotate. Uh, the back one has. Well it's just a swivel. No in and out. But does have like double jointed. Knees type. Or ankles. And which both of them do rotate. And that's about it. Yeah. For articulation it's not too bad. But you can still give them, give this dog some possibilities. Or something. For accessories. The Terror Dog does not come with any accessories at all. Well. Because he is. But well. I'm not sure. If this is the Gatekeeper or the Key Master. Since this Terror Terror Dog is an accessory from the Ghostbusters. But overall, I really do like this figure. And I recommend getting the entire set to build this figure. Or if you want to get the the, the Louis Tolly and Terror Dog 2 pack, which is exclusively to Hasper Pulse, which I'm guessing that's that one sold out. But if you already have the entire Plasma series collected and connected, and also the, the, the two pack with Louis Tully, what do you think of this Terror Dog? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. For my rate, I'm going to give this Terror Dog a, a, let's just say a 9 out of 10. And so that's about it for the review of the Terror Dog. Now let's look at the review of the Loyal Subjects Ray Stands. So take a look at the packaging. You can see the um the packaging is very similar to, like the Loyal Subjects packaging. You can see the window exposed in the figure, and you get the Ghostbusters logo, Loyal Subjects on the side. You get the rest of the four the four Ghostbusters gang: Egon, Peter, Ray, and Winston. On the other side, you get Genie, Slimer, the Library Ghost, and Gozer the Destroyer, the Destructor. And on the back, you can see exclusives like. A gold edition Slimer. Ooh. Peter Vinkman. Stay puffed. Yummy. Same thing with Ray Stance. And of course, the Glow in the Dark Dana Barrett figure. 
Ooh, glow in the dark. I'll be I really wish I should get that. So anyway, let's uh, release Ray Stands off camera, shall we? Yep, no breaks, uh, no trading card or something. Mm, oh well. Let's take out the ghost trap and come on, free. You're free, Ray. You're free. Come on. I should have brought my scissors with me, or a knife. Ah, there we go. Take out the accessories. Come on, take the walkie-talkie out. There we go. Very small, please be careful not to lose it. And put this, oh, there it is. Take out the treat, take out the car, come on. Ah, there we go. All right, let's throw these in the trash. And boom, there you go. Now let's take a look at the figure. Take a look at the head sculpt. I gotta admit, they did really a not too bad a job of the likeness to Dan Aykroyd. I would say they did a really a good job with it, the head likeness. It's just not too bad, not too bad at all. Take a look at the outfit. Yeah, it's the, the outfit, they did a really a nice, not too bad of a job with the outfit. Very well like the um the outfit from the film. And you get the, the name tag here. You get the Ghostbusters no ghost logo. You can see some pockets sculpting there. And it belts some some holes on there. And the Proton pack has some nice detail, a little bit of paint work. It's still not too bad. Not too bad at all. You can see he does have his ecto goggles on the top. And take a look at the boots. You can see some a little bit of shoelaces sculpting on there. And on the bottom there are some legalese and the loyal subject stamp there at the bottom of the feet. Overall for the for the figure itself, I'd say it's not too bad. Articulation, the head does have a ball joint, so that means it goes up and down, side to side. The arms do go fully rotate and does go in and out. The wrists do rotate. And waist rotation, legs kick forward and back, in and out. There's a ball joint on the legs. And what's really interesting that the, some of the loyal subject doesn't have knee articulation, but Ray does. Interesting. And there's some ro rotation at the ankles, and that's about it. Just a standard loyal subject articulation, but with the added knees articulation. Accessories. Ray comes with, oh, oops, let me put them back again, there we go, he comes with two accessories, he does come with the, um, the ghost trap and the walkie talkie, he can actually put both the ghost trap and the walkie talkie on both hands, yeah, for, for the walkie talkie, be careful with the, the walkie talkie, don't lose it. You can have him like talking on with his friends. Let's take that off. And you can have him holding the ghost trap. And for the proton wand here. It is it does come off, but there's nowhere you can put it. There's no peg hole or anything for the proton wand. I really wish he wish you can attach a proton wand on the side of the proton pack because so you can have him holding the accessories. Uh, why, oh why. But it's okay. Also, he does come with this, whoops, this trading card. Here's a bio about the character. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video. And there's the image of the figure. And on the back, there's other loyal subjects, figures that you want to collect. Like that I showed you earlier so that's about it for that overall for the race stands figure i absolutely do like the like it so much oops oops yikes stay here and i'm hope maybe i'm hoping one day i'll probably get more of the loyal subjects ghostbusters figures because because at gamestop they're like a dollar i was like ooh, not bad why not get that yeah that yeah i, I ordered this along with um 
Plasma Series Egon and NECA Pennywise fig figure to get free shipping. The sculpt and the sculpting on the figure looks really good. Articulation, I'm I'm really surprised that Loyal Subjects added the knee articulation, and I'm pretty sure right now with the new Loyal Subjects like Beetlejuice, Goat, and Pennywise, they added like other knee articulation, but not like like elbow articulation. That's basically the the best actions line. At the end of the day, it's still a really a good looking figure, and I highly recommend it. getting this figure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And, and finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This, these are the Ghostbusters figures. You got the Plasma Series, the Terror Dog, made by Hasbro, and the Loyal Subjects, made Ray Stands, all made by, again, Loyal Subjects. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. And, and don't forget to keep on collecting.